Hi, um, today I'd like to show you how to work with USD data and V-Ray and to get it working first you have to um, set the PIXA USD path in your Maya environment file so that all the relative data um, got found from Maya and the USD plugin and then it's just straightforward if you have an, an object here and we have two materials assigned and we just go to the file uh, export selection settings here um, we choose USD and the VRA material exporter and then um, you export your data somewhere inside um, your path you said earlier you can do all the subfolders there and, and your hierarchy doesn't matter, but it have, has to be inside this uh, location. And if this is exported, um, I'm in uh, Maya 2022 at the moment. That's I am jumping to the next Maya version here, 2023. And I choose uh, flower scattered. I hope it's the right one. Yeah, I think so. Then I go to the Bifrost uh, graph editor and this one here, you see flower USD is my exported uh, file, this one here. And to load data into, I think it's stage two here, yeah, out stage two. First you have to use the node add to stage. This tells uh, USD, something gets added to the current uh, proxy shape here. So, that's just loaded one flower. And I disconnect this one here. And here, I show how to scatter the <coughs> more of them. This is to save the file later to an USD, that's the, the instance we get, and those file um, is the file we can load via the <coughs> V-Ray plugin and render it later in the old Maya version. I hope if we get a, a V-Ray version for 2023, we can skip this part here. So first we need a add to stage node, and then I created an X form flowers and I will open this one here. This is just a group, so I added a group. <coughs> then I defined the the point instancer. This is a randomized rotation, and I scattered some blue noise here. And I just plug this in here so we can see what we get. This is the disk, then I scatter some points on this plane, randomize the rotation here, so that we get a, a little bit variation. And the part where it's a little bit trickier is here, <coughs> I'm adding the flower, the dev is also a kind of node. This one here. And then I define all that goes into this group uh, is a reference. And then I just grab the flower, the same one we exported earlier. Here it's important that read only is ticked. Otherwise, it's possible that uh, the USD plugin doesn't find this one here because it can it can happen that the relative path we set here um, gets lost so sometimes it does work sometimes not yeah that's it then we write this file here <coughs> out onto the hard drive and here I open up another file that is 
here empty. So this is only the disk here, and then I used the uh, standard Maya USD plugin, so no Bifrost here, it's only the... and I create a stage from file. And I use this flower instance here, and here we go. <coughs> These are only instanced flowers from Bifrost. Grab a render window here. Oh, I forgot to set the. You have to use VRA as a plugin. So, here we go. I hope this does help to get you started.